Hi guys, welcome. We're back on Arctix. Yesterday I've made a video which is, has the number 3426 ATT Arctix and the Arslinx 3 tool. And I've then made also the reference to the different, uh, well, uh, booting systems, the initialization systems. And we have GTK and Qt which have uh, an abundance of repositories which uh, leaves us the possibility to install any of our desktops from the Arch Linux Week tool, but the others are less um, equipped, so to speak, right? So there are other ISOs out there with Runit, Dinit, OpenRC, and this one I'm testing now is S6. Now, all of them are the same, so I'm not gonna make a video for each one of these ISOs, but it's, it's more of a challenge if you go not, to, if you do not start with the GTK to QT, which is Mate and Plasma. So I um, thought I'd better make a video for the other guys. So S6, OpenRC, Dinit, Runinit, it's all the same. Okay, well, it's not the same in, in, in starting your system, but the approach for ArchLinks tweak tool is. So what are we on? Now, this is what we get. This is the terminal, pseudo pacman minus S. So we know <laughs> this is ArchLinks based, right? And it has only three lines. I believe the other one had like nine lines or something. So lots and lots of repositories. So all the others, the, the ones that I refer to now, have exactly the same very uh, little, well, re repo. So basically shops and stores where to get my packages. Pacman has three stores. Now we get this libelf thingy. I've learned you that there is something like RDD, libelf. And that's the easiest way to remember. And then you update your system, which is not like that, but pseudo pacman minus s y y u. And later on, you install libelf again, right? Very simple. Remove the obstruction, put the obstruction back, is actually then later on the message. And that's because of package builds saying it has to be bigger than this number or smaller than that number or it should be exact that number that's the well basically kind of fail safe so pacman doesn't remove anything that's important let's do a quick pause here so this time around there were no issues but as you know on anything arch you go for pseudo pacman minus s yeah he's changed my screen because of the xfc4 session update there that's not nice so back to a bigger screen keep this configuration close so it's up to date now so the minus s what was it lip elf or something so arrow up arrow up and then you do s it's back in sudo reboot let's do that sudo reboot or just reboot will be probably enough as well but it's in the fingers right sudo reboot Voila. So we're up to date, are we? Pseudo Pacman minus S of IYU. And here the challenges start, right? This is just updating and maintaining a system. Then it's okay. Do we have Yay? Do we have Paru? Do we have Trizen? So that's a more of a challenge because the other GTK and QT have Trizen. So in my case, I do Trizen Archlinks tweak tool then, right? So not possible. We go for a browser. To the internet we go. We go for arcolinux.information. We accept all the rubbish. And then we have here Arclinux Spices application. This is 
giving you access. This is the stores, right? The repos. We add the repos, and if we have keys and, and repos, and when Pac-Man knows where they are, then the fun starts. So we got a package, a very simple package. We used to make it very complex, and then of course, after the fun in Python and Qt or GTK, right? We go back to keep it simple as stupid. Epic button. But it was fun programming. And it has to be a capital U if I'm not mistaken there. Pseudo Pacman minus capital U Arcolex. So that's installed. Basically you can run it from up here. But I like to stay in here and say just type Arcolex Spices, enter. You get this button, get the Arcolex keys and packages, boom say the password for root and it just installs whatever you need again mirrors where is it who is signing it and pacman gets a few extra lines that means if you have if you do this minus s y y u at least you have more lines right this is three lines that's it and this is a little bit more Okay, but these are not, uh, these names do not ring a bell. I mean, they're not Arch Linux names. Okay. Then, we've got our spices in. We can install things. One of the things we're missing is yay, Paru, Trizen. We could install an AUR helper, for sure, right? So you choose whatever you would like. I'm going to go for the one of the yays. Now, Bash completion is not installed, and I do not like when that's not installed because I like to use tap tap. As in, I will log out, right? Log out, log out, and make sure it is used. No, thank you. And then we've got again, so sudo. Pacman. So first, if you want to install something from the repos, first get the databases in. That's something like this, right? Get them in, and then you can do sudo pacman minus s yay something. And now we have three versions. You choose. Paru, we have three versions. You choose. And Tryzen is just there as well. Control C. I'm gonna go for Paru since that has. Also, uh, we use it for the updating the AOR with up all. One of our commands is aliases is up all. Okay. Now, the Bezier C, our Bezier C, our ZSHRC, our fish is not in. So, that alias is unknown. These are the aliases. That's it, right? Take a look. When you go and visit other systems, take a look at their bash RC and see at the content. And if there's something you like, you can use it and create your own bash RC. So we're on our way to the Arch Links tweakle. This is a, a detour. We do not need yay. Well, we could. Well, yeah, we can. <laughs> there's always, we can always use that. So if we do Paru, we got this, right? nothing to do packages not in the AOR okay and then we can say paru for example arch linux tweak and we can do it that way now this is building from the AOR which we did in the other video so since we have access to the arch linux repo it's just there so sudo pacman minus s arch linux tweak tool so it's a tool for anything arch based and then we have problems we see that we have problems with the arch links keyring the dependency of chaotic keyring cannot resolve catechism so the packages in this particular system that do not exist that only exist on arch linux so this is the message for you these repos that we have are not arch there are packages missing on there that Arch Linux servers have, and this one does not have with all the problems. 
that's why this one, these guys are more diff uh, difficult because of the fact that uh, the repos are not there, right? Now, I have something for that. Pseudo Pacman minus S. I call it Arclix on the road, right? When we are on the road, we sometimes want to have some applications, configurations. What was it again? And everything like grub default and pacman.conf and all kind of th things, right? Are in here. And on the road, some of the scripts that we have on Arclix, I just renamed them with OTR on the road. And I've created one more Arctic. So if I'm on one of these ISOs, I'll tell the system, you can check it out, what uh, the configuration says. We have these guys in that package. In the folder, there is a user share on the road packages folder. And I just say it, everything that's in the folder, just install it. So Alacrity is missing, Arch Link's keyring is missing, and um, Arch Link's keyring, yeah, the mirror list, Celtic keyring, Celtic mirror list, Endeavor keyring, Endeavor mirror list, Zero Link's mirror list. So all the things that is not there is now there. And I do like Melt as a way of comparing things, and I do like Rib Grab, and I do like Sublime Text. So all the things I need to develop and, and read and edit and all that, right, are there. That means all the dependencies that were missing for this one are on my system. And off it goes, installing the Arch Links tweak tool. And then of course, the story is exactly the same as the other video. We have ATT to run. It knows it's on Artix and off you go installing more stuff because Pacman has access to the Arclinx repos. They're all activated, they're all on, and now they're off. And now they're on again, right? And if they're on, you can say, let's install the study icons. Install selected icon themes. This is what's happening to your system. And once installed, it will say study icons is now installed. And let's go for one more, like the surfing icons, and go change it. So, install the selected icon themes. Voila. And then we go for a quick change in look. So, we have these things. We can install more themes. The themes are in design. Themes, all themes. But we have here as well some themes. These are the arc themes with different colors. And they, the list will just become longer and then you choose. Here is just the icons I want to change. Sardi Kogir. Or the Surfen Dracul. Right, long time I haven't seen that one. Right. That's Dracul. Dracul, all right. And Surfernomix and Misty and Orange and Papyrus Grey and Surfentella. Well, leaving it at that, you've changed your icons. And all the rest is like in the video, there's one thing, one caveat that you need to know, and that's something you need to figure out and maybe ask the developer, is to add more packages to the ones he's having on those three lines, right? Pseudo Pacman minus S. So the first three lines, system, world, and galaxy. Here's another update. They need to contain all the packages that it requires. If we say install awesome, it will not be installed. Why? Because vicious is something that comes from the Arch Linux repo and it's not there. So too bad for you. Either you go find it online somewhere and you install it, or you ask the developer to add it to the repo. This one, all the packages are are not there because Alacrity is not there. Alacrity isn't dependency for it. So no, nope, it's not gonna be installed. And this goes on like that. So on the ISOs, that's not the GTK, not the QT, 
on all these guys, all packages need to be available. If not available, right? No fun for you. So this is um, the downside of using these ISOs. That's the missing, if, miss, if there is something missing, it says no stop, hold, right? And you can t keep testing it out, but as long as there is something missing, like the alacrity here, there is an issue. Now, I don't know Arctic very well, so all the rest is exactly the same. I don't know Arctic so very, uh, very well, I mean, just a few hours on it, but let me do one nah let's go just go there so file system etc and then pacman.conf right if we open this up not with that thing if we open it up with sublime text there might be things in here to be added right so we see here some gremlins i thought that would be the solution but it's simple well it's, it's it's not that simple it's needs more so super control s and then save so you, you get it's extra lines there sudo sudo pacman minus s o y y u you get some extra lines but no alacrity or fishes or th or all the stuff so we need to add more um, repos that do have access to it and maybe somebody knows and is is well versed on Arctic and can tell beneath this video what users should do but basically you need a repo that has it simple as that all right cheers enjoy the tool on Arctic